You know, I never thought I would be in this situation. So obviously, you guys are not used to this kind of thing. This is a completely new, I guess, adventure for my channel. I don't even want to say adventure, really, because I don't honestly know how long this is going to go for. This could be a one and done, could be a two and done, who knows? And obviously, I know this is a completely different style of content, and I fully expect uh, it not to do as well, which, honestly, I don't care. See, I've done a lot of different types of of content when it comes to this game or just content in general but i've never really done a modern or I, I don't know if modern is the right word for this but i guess a 2022 minecraft let's play before it's been a while since i've ever really tried to do that kind of thing honestly i don't know how i'm gonna format this but it's just gonna be very minimal edits i actually do kind of have a goal now obviously this uh this last thing that i want to do it's uh it's, it's gonna take a while and Ironically enough, it's gonna require mining off screen and whatever else, but I want to make a full-length beacon out of netherite And if you don't know a full beacon, uh, is not very easy to make Oh, that's nice to be honest. I'm not really a fan of birch. so I don't really care about this me personally I don't think this series is going to really be something That I think too much about the format of these videos is gonna be very weird and it's probably gonna be changing every episode but I am fully treating this as a I guess, kind of, not really podcast. It's just going to be a Minecraft Let's Play down to its core. Nothing else, nothing more, kind of just how it be. Obviously, we'll go with the uh, whole elephant in the room here as the first topic. Obviously, I've stopped uploading Minecraft for the most part. Uh, the last video that I uploaded was, I believe, a month or two ago. And it's just not something that I've been really interested in making. I have been very active on the Poke Live channel. In case you don't know about that, you can go to subscribe. I've been uh, uploading it two times a week. Uh, it's been doing very well and stuff. So I am I'm still around. I just am not really doing Minecraft all that much. This game has become so oversaturated, in my opinion, and I, I've just not really had a lot of interest in it, if that makes sense. You're probably wondering what I mean by that, and maybe you actually do understand. Who knows? But pretty much everything is just, it's kind of been done. Now, obviously, there's a billion ideas that you could still do, but everything in terms of my kind of content, there's so much that's been done already for it where you can't really find an original idea without completely throwing everything out and only focusing on thinking about ideas for Minecraft stuff. And maybe I could hire some people to figure all the stuff out for me, but I don't even know where to even begin with that sort of thing, nor do I want to. I don't really want to become a, like, shellless form of my former self, which, I mean, you know, ironic, of course, because I, I wouldn't really say that this is exactly the same thing. I've always had this whole Let's Play-esque uh, liking, I guess, for content. I've always, I've always been like that. But when I say, like, shellless or soulless, whatever you want to really say about it, I don't want to get a whole team to really make Minecraft videos for me. The whole fun thing about it was mostly just coming up with ideas on my own accord, whether I just be gaming with friends and randomly an idea pops into my head, or whatever it may be. You know, I could be talking to my friends, we could be, you know, spitballing ideas, etc, etc. I don't want to get a team to think about this stuff, to mod this stuff, to edit this stuff, all on their own. When it comes to Minecraft, it's it has a soft spot in my heart, and it's just something I don't ever want to go down in terms of a road like that. And of course, as well, uh, when it comes to this kind of content, I'm not really I'm not really used to it. I don't do let's plays. It's not my thing. I'm typically with friends. Friends always make things funner, and it just makes things funnier, in my opinion. I actually did have something else I wanted to mention, but I completely forgot about it because I went off topic. That might happen quite a bit during this. So I do want to talk about a few things in regards to this channel as well. It's not over. You know, we're not done with it. Um, I don't know how active uploads will be. Could be on a week-to-week -week basis. Could be on a you know, two times a week, three times a week, who knows? I could go months without uploading. It's just something that I'm going to do personally, just to, just to, I guess, kind of have some fun to myself. You know, take a step back, go back to not even really my roots, I wouldn't call it, because again, I never really started with uh, Let's Plays. I, I personally have always been a part of that very quick, fast-paced content. When it comes to this channel, obviously, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, because I, I do, I have seen quite a bit of comments, obviously, when I was uploading. People asking where James was, right? And I'm not going to talk too much about this, of course. But I basically just want to say, so you guys will stop asking or, you know, you don't, you're not left with an answer. In case you don't know already. James kind of quit content creation, obviously. And he sort of drifted away from, I guess, this friend group. And we have really not talked since, which is very unfortunate, but... 
we'll leave it there. I don't really want to dwell too much deep into it. That wasn't even English, I don't think. Like I said, I'm not I'm not used to this kind of content. It's very hard to talk and do things at the same time. Ironically, I can do this when I'm just goofing around, but trying to formulate thoughts and stuff like that as I'm playing a video game, trying to focus on that as well, it's it's hard. It's a new it's a new type of struggle. I like it though. I really do wish that I was like extremely rich. That way I could just sit here and play Minecraft all day and just do let's plays. That could be funny. There is one thing I would like to talk about as well with uh in regards to of course this channel. And I, I believe that this whole update now i did have a few ideas here and there i'm not going to go over them because i just can't be asked but i did have some updates or some updates some ideas for this new update once i started playing it more it just kind of became more and more not fun initially i really did like this update it was very cool it was a very big fr breath of fresh air when it comes to minecraft because you know whoa we got these big ass caves this is something we've always wanted but then you start playing it more you start playing it more and then suddenly, it's just become a, well, this is dumb. I don't have any coal, and I'm down in the deep, dark depths. I'm at, like, negative 3 or 30, negative 20, where coal doesn't really spawn. And that's very sad, because I do like what they're trying to do here, but I do think that there's some quality of life updates that they can really add to make this a bit better. For instance, you know, making coal spawn anywhere, uh, I think would be the first thing that I would personally do. I also am not a big fan of the deep slate, I believe. That stuff I'm not a fan of. I don't like- I like the texture, right? It's- it's amazing. I love it. But the thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it's so hard to mine. So it makes strip mining nearly just impossible or just annoying to get through. Kind of just have to slog through it. And it's not fun. It is adding a bit of difficulty, of course, but what kind of separates the whole difficulty thing from it just being annoying grinding or whatever it may be? Because to me, it, it seems grinding. It's not really difficult. There's no- there's no difficulty there. It's just kind of, oh, I have to mine slightly longer now. Well, that's unfortunate. There's no skill or thinking process. It's just annoying. They also made diamonds a bit easier to find, it seems, uh, which is which is cool. You know, it seems like it's typically you find one veins most of the time nowadays. Of course, the whole strip mining thing is very hard to find multiple veins, but usually you'll find them in the walls and stuff. And they'll be they'll be spawning in one or two veins. And that's just kind of the end of the story. But I don't know. That's just me. There's probably a billion other things I could talk about in regards to this update. But at the moment, I'm just chilling. You know, I, I did do that SMP video with a with a couple of friends. I've not talked to them in a bit. And it was fun getting together and playing some Minecraft. And uh, making an old video for old time's sake. And it's, it's honestly a real big shame that you can't really make an SMP anymore without it being completely already done. That's another issue. Is that just oversaturation. There's only really room for the big the bigger SMPs these days. Which, you know, hats off to Dream SMP and whatever other... Uh, what is it? Hermitcraft? I think Hermitcraft's still around. Yeah, yeah, they should be still around. What am I saying? I literally watched... I was watching Ethos Lab a couple days ago. Of course they're still around. He was literally uploading it. Speaking of, I guess, Ethos Lab, that's what I've been kind of watching these days. It's just Ethos Lab. And I've been watching a lot of Let's Play content as well. I'm a big fan of Chugger Conroy. I've been watching through his Pokemon Let's Plays and stuff, and those have been a lot of fun. And in terms of that, I've also been just playing... Replaying all the Pokemon series on my free time and just having fun with that. In terms of that, like, there's also... There's also another thing, right? I'm not the, believe it or not, I'm not the first one that decided to randomly do this. Uh, the idea was given to me from a friend, and he uh, basically got this idea because Captain Sparkles was doing this. Apparently, I had no idea, but apparently about a month ago, he pretty much had the exact same thing where it was like, uh, he doesn't want to appease the algorithm, he wants to do what he wants to do, and he just kind of does his own thing with Let's Plays, whatever it may be. And I, I respect it. I respect it. I'm hoping that he has a lot of fun with that and stuff. I'm very happy for him. I'm hoping that that all works out and stuff. Just truly love to see it. I hope he lets me in his McLaren one day. I don't even know if he still has a McLaren. You know, I'm sitting here running through and I'm like, damn, I really wish I would have made a list of things to talk about. See, that's the issue with like the whole Let's Play thing is that I'm not used to it. I don't think of these kinds of things. I, this is a new thing for me. I don't know what I'm doing. And I think that's what's fun about it. It genuinely makes me feel like just a new creator just diving in on a new YouTube channel, and just seeing what happens. You know what I mean? It's insane to me. It's insane to me. I very much like it. Uh, I hope you guys like it too. And again, I don't really care about the views because this will be a purely hobby thing of mine. I've been kind of just relaxing. Uh, again, merely focusing on the Poke Live channel. I've not really been streaming at all. I don't plan on streaming anytime soon. To the two people that care about the streams, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably not going to continue anytime soon unfortunately. In terms of Twitch, I don't like it as much because when it comes to YouTube, there's obviously the algorithm. There's a way to exploit it where you can grow and, you know, kind of kind of help have it help you find new viewers or whatever else. With Twitch, 
that doesn't really exist all that much. From my experience and from what I've seen, they do have a recommend channel button, but I don't think that really does all that much. I've seen a few viewers pop in and be like, hey, you're in my recommended channel thing. But it's still nowhere near close to the amount of help that YouTube has. And I'll be real, when I look at Twitch a lot of the time, it does seem like it's a bit of a, hey, if you know the right people, you'll succeed. I don't like that. That's like old YouTube. That is how old YouTube used to work, I'm pretty sure. It's purely a thing where if people find you, they'll find you, but there was no real algorithm put in place. There was no help. There was no nothing like that. It was all just you and you alone, and really just, if you know people, you know people. If you don't, you don't. I'm very excited to see the reactions and stuff in the comments or whatever. Uh, if you somehow got up to this point, by the way, feel free to leave a comment saying whatever you want. I just want to play Minecraft here forever how long. I just want to chill, and if I can somehow get up to a goddamn full beacon, holy lord, that would be insane. Speaking of, I've got a new skin. I've had this for a bit, but it never debuted on the, on the channel, of course, because... You know, that was... Well, actually, I think it did. Uh, I think I think I had it on in the last video, but... I don't really count that. That's not really a, a, a PCU, a Poké Cinematic Universe video. It doesn't really count. I've been recording for about, like, 30 minutes, and I don't know how Let's Players do this. It's actually insane having to talk like this for 20 straight minutes. I'm telling you, Let's Players, they deserve... They deserve all in the world. They deserve all of it. I, I don't know what all of it is, but they deserve all of it. And, of course, every video is not going to be me talking about random stuff. You'll see videos where we actually have things set. Maybe we'll make a redstone contraption, contraption or maybe we'll make... A villager farm or a creeper farm. Creeper farm is actually probably going to be a big part of it because we do need gunpowder and, and whatnot. We also need a sheep farm probably for the beds for netherite hunting. All these different things. I got to put all these different struggles in place. Plus, also the warden. I want to eventually beat him legitimately. I had this great idea in uh, the server that we had that I wanted to essentially make a billion, not a billion exactly, but a lot of the TNT minecarts. And I was basically going to go down there. I was going to summon him after getting the whole TNT bomb ready it was just going to be one rail placed right here and you would essentially just right click a shit ton of tnt minecarts and if you give them the slightest push they would fall and then just explode every one of them so it would probably be enough to kill the warden and it would have been very funny to have something like that happen but alas it uh it did not happen that that was a lot of work you know i don't have enough time to do that kind of thing unfortunately i do have to focus on content creation and Again, this is kind of just filling in that little void where it's like, hey, I feel like playing Minecraft. I'll hop on for an hour, play some Minecraft, and then I'll eventually make this video whenever I get the time. And I still do not know really how long this is going to be for. But I'll tell you what, I've been, I've, been, I've been blabbering on quite a bit. We just found a cave over here, it would seem. We can go in there next time. But I think that's just going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your days or nights. And yeah, I will, I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, goodbye.